In this video, we'll look at configuration and log files for your PeopleSoft web server. Right now, we are managing our web server using psadmin. So we'll find information here. You can look at configuration file, PS home, PS app home. But because we are managing a web server, this is information that we are interested in, which is PIA home. PIA home is DPT config. So let's go back to that config directory. This is DPT config. And this is the directory which will store information related to web server. So go to web server directory, go to PeopleSoft, and there are so many different folders. So let's look at the configuration file first. You may want to note this path. This is a very long path that you have to follow. So go to applications, PeopleSoft, portal, webinf, PSFT docs. This is your site name, which is PS. And then this is the location where you will find your configuration file. Configuration file for your PeopleSoft WebLogic web server is configuration.properties. Let's open this file. In this file, you will find information used by web server to connect to application server. This parameter, PS server parameter, is the value used by web server, which means PS server means this is the server for application server and this is the GSL port number. So we are telling your web server, connect to this machine at this port number and you will be connected to your application server. There are other values that you can set, jolt pooling, then parallel loading. If you have provided domain connection password while you are configuring your app server domain, then that value needs to be provided here. This is for additional security feature. You will also get information of your web profile, whether it is a dev, test, prod. When you create a new web profile, you can select what type of web profile is. Based on the value selected, it will create different configuration. Web server user ID is the ID that you provided when we were installing our domains. By default, it is PT web server, and this is the encrypted value for PT web server, and this is exactly same. You may want to change this value, but always make sure that there is an encrypted value here. If you see that there is no encrypted value and it's simple text, which it could cause issues with your web server configuration. This is the location on your web server where your reports will be stored. This is known as report repository. This is DPS reports. It could be a different location on a different server as well, where your web server will send the files. So this was about configuration file here for your web server. So let's go back to web server. Now go to PeopleSoft. And now we'll look at the log files. So log files are stored in servers. Servers here logs and there are many log files associated with web server as well first one is pia weblogic this file will also give you information when you see some error on your login page if you get some error when trying to log into people's application let's say your application server domain is down when you try to log in it will show your message saying that application server is down or unable to connect to application server or any other tuxedo error. You may want to come and look at these files because these files will provide you more information about that error. Second file is this PeopleSoft file. Open this and then you will find another information. Right now we do not see any errors. Everything is working fine. But when there are some errors, you will find in these files. So this is one location to look for errors. And then you may want to look at PIA TTR. This shows that there were some errors. Most likely it's because of network issues. As you can see, Jolt exception, which most likely means it's not able to connect to Jolt, which is again your application server, so some network issues. So if a network drops between your web server machine and your app server machine, 
let's say in a distributed environment you have a different web server machine and a different application server machine residing on two different servers if network breaks down between these two services you would see some messages in this log file and likewise we saw in app and web configuration and logs these are archived so these are all old files another file you can look at is peer access right now it's blank but you may want to come and look at it and there might be some issues here so this was about configuration and log files for your peoples of web server